Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we're going to solve a differential equation from variation of parameters method. So let's get going. Problem, solve y double dash plus n square y equal to secant nx or d square y by dx square plus n square y equal to secant nx or d square plus n square into y equal to secant nx using variation of parameters method. So we are given a differential equation of order 2. Given differential equation, y double dash plus n square y equal to secant nx considered as equation 1. We can write y double dash as d square y by dx square plus n square y equal to secant nx or we can write d square y by dx square as capital D square y using the differential operator capital D plus n square y equal to secant nx. Now take y common from these two terms. We'll get d square plus n square into y equal to secant nx, considered as equation number 2. Equation, first equation and second equation in operator form is our equation 2, which is in operator form, say f of d into y equal to some function of x, where f of d is d square plus n square and r of x is secant nx, okay? Now we'll find the solution we'll find the general solution to our problem using y equal to yc plus yp where yc is complementary function yp is particular integral we'll find yc using the auxiliary equation and later using yc we'll find yp okay now coming to the auxiliary equation The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, we have f of d, d square plus n square. Let's replace the differential operator d by m so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus n square and the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus n square equals to 0. We need to find roots to this equation. We can write minus n square as minus 1 into n square and split the square root of square root of minus 1 into square root of n square. Since square root of minus 1 is i and square root of n square is n, so we'll get i n. Therefore, m equal to plus or minus i n. The roots are complex conjugate. We know that when two roots are complex conjugate, say m equal to a plus or minus ib, then the complementary function looks like e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. For a equal to 0, in case of a 0, otherwise we'll get e power 0 of c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx, right? Since e power 0 is 1, So this gives us 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx which is equals to c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Right? Let's now write our complementary function using this formula for b equal to n. We'll get yc equals to c1 cos nx plus c2 sin nx. We got yc. Let yp equal to, just replace the constants of parameters by functions of x, say a and b, we'll have a cos nx plus b sin nx where a and b 
are functions of x we can compare yc with c1 u plus c2 v or yp with a u plus b v so that will have b u and v see the u is cos nx v is sin nx u is cos nx v is sin nx right And we'll find a b using formula. A is given by integral minus v into r of x by u v one minus v u one, and b is given by integral u into r of x by u v one minus v u one. We we'll notice we are having u v one minus v u one in both the formulas, so we'll begin with u v one minus v u one. Later we'll find a b, and we'll put a b in y p. And finally, we'll find the general solution using y equal to y c plus y b. V one is nothing but v dash. U one is nothing but u dash. This is equal to u cos n x into v dash sine n x dash minus v into u dash. This gives us cos n x into derivative of sine n x with respect to x is n cos n x minus sine n x into derivative of cos n x with respect to x is minus n sine n x. This gives us n into cos n x into cos n x is cos square n x minus into minus plus n into sine n x into sine n x is sine square n x. Right? Or we can write this as n sine square n x plus n cos square n x. Now take n common from these two terms, we'll get n times n square n x plus cos square n x. Since we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one, so let's replace sine square n x plus cos square n x with one. We'll get n into one n. Therefore, u v one minus v one is n. Now coming to a, a is given by integral minus v into r of x by u v one minus v one into dx is equals to minus v sine n x into r of x secant n x by u v one minus v one is n the dx is equals to minus one by n into Integral sine n x secant n x d x. Since we know that secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta, so let's replace secant n x with reciprocal of cos n x. This gives us minus one by n integral sine n x into one by cos n x is tan n x, or you can write sine n x by cos n x. So equal to minus one by an integral tan n x. Since we know that integral tan a theta d theta equal to minus one by a log mod cos a theta or one by a log mod secant a theta. Let's try for both the formulae. This gives us a equal to minus one by n into since integral tan a theta d theta equal to minus one by a log mod cos a theta. Right? For the first formula, we'll have for a equal to n, we'll have minus one by n log mod cos n x or Equal to minus one by n into since integral tan a theta d theta equal to the second formula one by a log mod secant a theta will get for n equal to I mean for a equal to n will have one by n log mod 
secant and x for theta equal to x. Okay, this gives us minus into minus plus one by n into an n square log of cos n x or minus one by n into an n square log of secant n x. Therefore, a equal to one by n square log of cos n x or minus one by n square log of secant n x. We got a now. Let's now find b. B is given by integral u into r of x by u v one minus v one. U is cos n x into r of x is secant n x by u e one minus v e one n into d x. This gives us one by n integral cos n x into secant n x d x. Since secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta, so we'll just replace secant n x with reciprocal of cos n x. Where cos n x gets cancelled, and we get one by n integral d x, which is equals to one by n x or x by n. Therefore, b equal to x by n. We got b. Let's now find y p. Y p is given by a cos n x plus b sin n x. Okay. So firstly, I'm going to solve for the first a is equals to one by n square log of cos n x into cos n x plus b x by n sin n x which is equals to one by n square cos n x log of cos n x plus one by n x sin n x or if you consider the second one you'll have y p equal to minus 1 by n square log of secant n x into cos n x plus b sin n x this gives us minus 1 by n square cos n x log of secant n x plus 1 by n x sin n x therefore y p equal to 1 by n square cos n x log of cos n x plus 1 by n x sin n x or Minus one by n square cos n x log of secant n x plus one by n x sin n x. Okay. Now coming to the general solution. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to y c plus y p. Okay, then y equal to y c c one cos n x plus c two sin n x plus y p. I'm going to take the first y p. 1 by n square cos n x log of cos n x plus 1 by n x sin n x right when y p equal to 1 by n square cos n x log of cos n x or y equal to y c c n sorry c1 cos n x plus c2 sin nx plus yp when yp equal to 
minus 1 by n square cos nx log of secant nx plus 1 by n x sin nx will have minus 1 by n square cos nx log of secant nx plus 1 by n x sin nx. This completes a problem. So that's all for now. I hope you'll understand. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.